Hello everybody. Hopefully this is the final update on this Harbor Freights dual action polisher that I'm going to post. Uh, I posted the initial tool review and then I posted an update with an issue with the uh, backing pad being too large for the foam pads that they sold and how it needed to really be a five inch pad to you know sit down properly on this area because it was just chewing the pads out. If anybody's kind of followed this you'll know but this is kind of for people who may stumble on this video uh, without viewing the other ones. So in the uh, second update you know I had turned this backing pad down to a five inch diameter and that was the solution to it chewing up the pads and I'll get I'll get to that in a moment but because this came with a six inch pad and a counterweight that would have been conducive to a six inch, using a six inch backer pad uh, the counterweight's a little bit too heavy uh, for a five inch pad and I had kind of posted a question in my last update you know of anybody who might have the Porter Cable brand because I know you can buy new counterweights for these and uh, straight Chevy's uh, one of the gentlemen who watch watches my channel sent me a message and gave me the dimensions you know center to center and measuring mine against his it's about seven eighths of an inch in between the center of these two holes uh, so it, it appears that the porter cable for the five inch backer pad would actually fit this machine and I'm looking at a website right now called uh, coastaltool.com and they have a five inch counterweight uh, that should fit this uh, for a dollar and ninety five cents you know so that's a pretty cheap part uh, I'm not sure about the shipping I did actually catch a uh, a clip of uh, not a clip but a uh, a picture online of it and best I can tell it's just a little thinner around the right here you know so it'd be lighter you know if somebody was so inclined you know you might just take some meat off of this but I don't really know what the uh, weight is you know and I didn't measure the other pad and try to get a ratio or anything like that so anyway to take it off of the machine it's quite simple you know it just sits right here there are two screws one in either hole take them out there you go if you want to change it out to the five inch pad uh, buy the proper counterweight slam it in there you should be good to go uh, I may go ahead and do that because it's only a couple of bucks and what I can say about it is you know since I've had a lot of time on the machine today it did disrupt the balance of the machine uh, I, I'll just be straightforward with that you know it seemed to work a lot better with the six inch pad with this existing counterweight uh, even though it was chewing up these pads you could probably just go ahead and source out larger pads but I'm going a different direction because the pads at Harbor Freight are cheap so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and just give a little update, you know, on what I have done. I had mentioned a couple times I was doing a 7 foot by 16 foot enclosed cargo trailer. And I did some quick math here on the actual real estate or surface area that I actually did today. And that is 273 square feet of surface area. Now, I'd already used the 6-inch backer pad uh, with the blue polishing pad and, you know, polished it all like that. So I kind of chewed that one up. But I broke this brand new finishing pad out today and did entirely 273 square feet. Actually, that's not correct. 273 square feet plus 49. I forgot the back door. Uh, so, you know, do your own math there lot of surface area now I do have a little bit of chew out on this but only a little bit and I get a little bit deep right here I don't know if this is going to show up now you have to keep in mind that you know I'm doing vertical walls and it's about eight feet off the ground to the point where I need to stop vertically so it's very hard to keep you know pressure on the machine and keep it into the surface standing on the ground I wasn't working on a ladder so more than likely a lot of this little chew up that I have in here is is because of that as I was riding up the wall I just wasn't quite holding it straight you know you kinda have to be out a little bit to put your pressure on so all in all you know uh, taking this down to a five inch that was the ticket 
I do think that you might want to explore picking up one of the Porter Cable 5 inch counterweights uh, to match the 5 inch backer pad uh, but aside from that you know that's a lot of service area a lot of time that I spent uh, compounding to get all the oxidation off and then polishing and then waxing those three steps you know I hit every square inch of this with each pad so you know if you think about the time it takes to cover uh, 300 and about 316 319 square feet three times I've had a lot of time with this tool turned on and aside from it being a bit unbalanced right now I am absolutely completely satisfied with it you know I would have figured it would have been burnt out by now doing that much so you know this is a closing to it I apologize that things were kind of done in a lackluster manner uh, but this was kind of a a whole new tool and process to me I didn't think I was gonna run into any, any problems past my initial review so this is the final update I want to thank uh, straight Chevy's for giving me the information on his uh, counterweight for his Porter cable thanks for watching and good luck